morning, boys and girls. How are you? Happy, happy Tuesday. I am so glad that you are here with me today. Today we will do our morning message. We're going to review third quarter sight words, so get ready for all of those W words. Um, we'll do sounds, punctuation. We're going to practice counting by twos, something new. And then we're going to read this story. It's called Alma and how she got her name. So I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started with our morning message. Give me one second to share my screen with you. Okay, there it is. Let's go ahead and read it. June 23rd, 2020. Good morning, today is Tuesday. What will you do for fun today? I will walk Gus. It will be a great day. I can and I will. Love, Mrs. Forrester. Sorry, I thought I had the wrong date on there at first, but I don't. Alrighty, that is our morning message today. I would like you to please tell me what this punctuation mark is. Good, yes, it is an exclamation point. Say that one more time, exclamation point. Remember, we use an exclamation point when we are excited or when we are loud and we wanna get our point across, right? So we have an exclamation down here in the pink. It will be a great day. And then down here in the red, I can and I will. What is this one called? You're right, that is a question mark. Do you see a question mark on my board? Oops. Now do you see a question mark on my board? Yeah, me too, in the green, right? I asked you a question. I asked you a question, that's why there's a question mark. I asked you, what will you do for fun today? And then I said, I will walk Gus. Gus and I have been going on lots and lots of walks. What is the last? punctuation mark called. What is this called? Yes, it's a period. Good. What is it? It's a period. And a period is when we are just stating things, right? We are just making a statement. So I told you that today is Tuesday, and I told you that I will walk Gus. And there are our periods. Good. Alrighty, I'm going to stop sharing the screen with you so that we can review our third quarter words. Remember, our third quarter words are all of those W words. And it's been a little bit since we've reviewed them. So we're going to kind of focus on them because I know they can be tricky. So are you ready? Ears on. Boy, boy, B-O-Y, boy, came, came, C-A-M-E, came, girl, girl, G-I-R-L, girl, have, have, H-A-V-E, have, help, help, H-E-L-P, help, oops, here, here, H-E-R-E, here, this is what you used to say each morning for attendance, make, make, M-A-K-E, make, play, play, P-L-A-Y, play, said, said, S-A-I-D, said, that, that, T-H-A-T, that, there, there, T-H-R, I'm sorry, T-H-E-R-E, T-H-E-R-E, good, sorry about that. They, they, T-H-E-Y, they, this, this, T-H-I-S, this. Three, three, T-H-R-E-E, Three, I was ready to spell three when we were learning about there. Want, want, W-A-N-T, want. 
went, went, W-E-N-T, went, I went to the store. What? What? W-H-A-T, what? Where? Where? W-H-E-R-E, -E. where? Where? We're looking for something with where, right? Who? Who? W-H-O, who? Me? Who, me? <laughs> Last one, with. With. W-I-T-H, with. Good job, repeating ears off. I know it's been a while since we've done those. I'll shuffle them up so all the W's aren't at the end for tomorrow, okay? Alrighty, before we do our sounds, let's practice counting by twos. So when we practice counting by twos, we're not gonna start at one. We're gonna start at two, okay? And this isn't something we'd normally talk about in kindergarten, but I thought it would be fun to switch it up from counting by ones or counting by tens, okay? So I just wanted to try it out. So when we count by twos, we are skip counting. So that means we're gonna skip a number. So normally when we count one, two, three, four, we're not skipping any numbers. When we count by tens, we're skip counting by 10, 10, 20, 30. So now we're gonna skip count by twos. So we're gonna basically say every other number. So we'll say two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now I wasn't holding up the right, I kept my thumb down. So my numbers weren't exactly correct with my fingers. But did you hear how we count, skip counted each number? Let's do it one more time. We're only gonna go to 20, as this is new. Maybe it's not new for you, but it's new for most of us. So we're gonna start at two. We're gonna go to four, Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Good job, let's do it one more time. One more time, okay? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Good job, friends. We're gonna practice that all week. So if you're kind of sitting at home like, what is she doing? We're gonna keep practicing this week, okay? If you're like, whoa, that was awesome. I totally get that. I want you to keep practicing at home. I count by twos a lot. I find myself, um, when I'm counting, if I have a lot of coins or when I would get projects ready for school, I would count the objects by twos, okay? Maybe tomorrow I can show you moving like two of those cubes we used for measuring. I'll have to think about that. Okay. Oh, we got to do our sounds. I almost forgot. How can I forget about the sounds? All right. Um, what did we used to do? Yeah, we do ears on. Ears on. H, ha, hat. Giga game, J J jug, D D dog, S snake, N nut, T T top, P P pan, V V van, R R rat. Ella lamp. M mm, man. B b bat. A, a apple. C c cat. E a ed. Y y yellow. O a octopus. U a up. I itch. X, X fox. K, K kite. F 
fa fan. Q qua queen. Z za zebra. Last one. W wind. Good job. All righty. Today, like I told you earlier, we are going to read a story that's called Alma and how she got her name. And it's by Juana Martinez Neal. Okay, so it's about this little girl. And if this story is by Juana Martinez Neal, what did she do? What did Juana do? Yeah, she wrote the words. Good. And what do we call the person who wrote the words? We call them the, we call them the author. Good. I don't, I'm looking to see, it doesn't have a, an illustrator. It doesn't tell us who um, the illustrator was, but what does the illustrator do? If the author writes the words, then the illustrator draws the pictures. Good. So we are going to learn how Alma got her name. So let me put it under my document camera so you can see the pretty pictures. Good. Alma and how she got her name. I have to move it each page. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela had a long name. That's her name. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has six names. How cool is that? Too long, if you ask her. So she's trying to write her name, her Esperanza. She's got to put the Z and the A down here. And then she even has to tape a piece of paper to this one to fit her whole name. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story. Then you decide if it fits. So she's kind of upset with her name, but her dad's going to tell her where her name came from. Sophia was your grandmother. He became, began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. So there's her grandma, and Grandma Sophia taught Dad how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great grandmother, he continued. He ho she hoped to travel but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Where her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. So there he is, there's great grandma. She wanted to travel, but she couldn't. So her sailor son traveled in her heart. She was kind of with him there in spirit. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. So look, she got her string out and she made a map of all the places they could go. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family. Like many people had back then, Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. So there's Grandpa. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. So there's some of her art. Pura was your great grandma. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always watching with, I'm sorry, are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string to your, around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. There she is, her great aunt. Hello, Pura, it's me, Alma. 
So the red string makes her think of her great aunt. Candela was your other grandmother. She was, she always stood up for what was right. So over here, she's protesting. She's letting people know um, her thoughts and she's standing up for what is right. I am Candela. So she made a sign to hold. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. There she is, Alma. And then it says mi historia, which means my history in Spanish. And then this is a note from the author. It says a note from Juana. My name is Juanda Carlotta Martinez Pizirano. Pez I'm struggling with that a little bit. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francesca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decision, so when it came to register my birth, he changed Carla to Car Carlotta on the birth certificate. And he was convinced that Juana Carlotta, Car Car Carlotta, uh, sorry, was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with that, with what I thought was the most old fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. So she's not, she didn't grow up in America. The author grew up in Peru. Little did I know later on after I moved to the United States, it would be, it would feel unique and remind me of every day where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? So our names may be different, but they come from really cool places, right? And really cool people. My middle name is Barbara and that was my my dad's sister, that was her name. So I feel very special to have her name attached to mine. So if you don't know where your name came from, ask your mom, your dad, your grandma and grandpa, why did they name you that? Maybe they just liked it. Maybe you're named after someone in your family. Ask them that question. I hope you have a super great Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow for our Zoom lesson. Bye friends.